To learn some basics of computer science, we can use Blockly games which have been developed by the Google team. So Blockly is a very interesting way of learning computer science. So you start with the first game, Puzzle, and in this first game, all that they are telling you is how to do drag and drop in Blockly games so that then you can start playing the real game. So here the idea is just this that you, you look at some picture. So let's say I take the picture of cat, then it says cat how many legs. So you choose how many legs does a cat have and then some trait which means some feature of cat. So you can look at the features here. So whiskers and feathers and peak and uh, shell and stinger for honey. So I say whiskers. So like that you can then look at the snail and drag and drop the snail and choose some features, uh, how many legs and traits etc and do the same for everyone else. So this game is very simple. They are just trying to teach you how to do drag and drop in these what is called block based programming. So once you are familiar with this, you can once you've done all of them, you can click check answers and it will tell you if you got it right. And then you can go back to the menu and then there are many other games here that you can play which will introduce you to different aspects of programming. So here if you click this button info for educators and you go inside this they explain that what uh, what computer science concepts the various games teach you. So like I said the first puzzle is just an introduction of how the pieces snap together. Then the second game the maze game is an introduction to loops and conditionals. So if I go back and I click on the maze game it's about so, so what we have to do is we have to take this character and we have to move him to this sign this red sign post. So what we are saying is that if I have this command called move forward and I run my program it moves forward one step. So to take this character from here to the flag we have to take two steps. So I say do the move forward command twice. And if I reset and run my program, it takes two steps and that's the right program. And then uh, this one is showing you that if you had run, if you had uh, written this program in a language called JavaScript, this would have been the code. But you don't have to worry about the code right now. So let's say okay. So the next step is that if you've got a more complicated game. So for example here, now you have to think that in this case the character has to move one step forward, take a left turn, move one step forward, take a right turn and then take uh, one more step forward. So the idea behind Blockly games is that it's developing your logic and teaching you some fundamentals of computer science. So again to play this game, so first step move forward, then take a left turn, so I click this, take a left turn and if you want to test your code you can test it even half halfway through. So when I say run the program, so I've got the code right so far. And then once it has turned left, what do, what do we do? We move one more step forward. And again, I can check my code. So I've got it right so far. And then take a right turn. And then when, once it has turned right, move forward one more step then I can execute my program and see whether I've got the instructions right or not. So I've got them right. And again, it's generating the JavaScript code to make you familiar with how this, this code would have been written in a language called JavaScript. So again, you don't have to worry about the code, just say okay. And like that, so here, now it is introducing you to the idea of loops that I can either say move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, however many number, number of times or I can take a loop which is called a repeat until loop. So I'm saying keep repeating move forward till you reach the red flag. And when I run the program, so this is introduced to the idea of loops. So do while, it's called a do while loop. And like that if you will go Further, you will see that the programs will become more and more complicated. And once you have done this one level of maze and there are 10 programs within maze, 
if you go back to Blockly games, you've got all these programs and I think all of them have 10, 10 levels. So for example, if I go into movie, this is about creating shapes. So you learn to do programming in, in terms of creating shapes. And what is this game movie teaching you? You can go to about Blockly and you can see that movie is an introduction to mathematical equations. Use math to animate a movie, then publish your movie for the world to watch. So if you go back to movie, here you get introduced to the idea of coordinates. So you've got the x axis here and these are the coordinates 20, 40, 60, 80 and these are the coordinates on the y axis. And then you have to write a small program. So if you go to movie, it's telling you how to draw a circle with position x 50 coordinate, y 50 coordinate and a radius of 10. And so we have to let's say draw this face. So it's in color red and I need a circle. So I bring this out. So I get a circle at this position and it's a black circle, but I want a red circle. So I go to color and I say set color to red. So now I've got a red circle, but the position is wrong. Right? The size is okay. The radius is fine, but the position is wrong. I've got a circle at, you can see at the top that I've got a circle at X 50, Y 50, but I want a circle at X 50, but Y 70. So I go to Y and I say 70 and I've got the circle at the right at the right of the right size 10 radius and at the right coordinates X 50 Y 70. Then to make this blue I go back to movie and what is this shape? It's a rectangle. So I pull out a rectangle. What is the color? It's blue. So I go back to color. I take out the set color and I put it as blue. So I've got the right color. Now how about the size? Well this is not the right size. So you can see I need to add um, 5 here and 5 here. So I need to add 10 more to the size. So I say on x axis sorry on width add 10 more. So I it's 10 so I make it 20. So I've got the right size and like that when you point it to the coordinate this is y equals 60 and this is y equals 20 that means this size is 40. So I go to height and I say height equals 40. So now I've got the right size but I've got the wrong location. So I have to again go and check my x and y coordinates and I have to say this is at y 40. So I go here and I put the y coordinate as 40. So now I've got the right size circle with the right color. I've got the right size rectangle with the right color and then you can make the arms. And like I said, if you this is just the first level. If you go to level nine, you have to make a very complicated shape and in the middle of it, you have to move its legs and so forth. So by the time you will play all these 10 games, you will understand a lot about in the maze game, in the movie game, about mathematical equations. And music, for example, is an introduction to functions. Functions is a very important concept of computer science. And so if I go back and I go back to Blockly games and I go to music, I it's telling me that by using functions, I have to create these, uh, these are musical notations for a song. And if I get it right, I'll play the song. So I go into music and I'm saying play some note. And the way you have to do this is you have to see that the first note is placed here. You know, these are like, you know, four strings of the guitar or, or some other string, stringed instrument and you have to place the first note here. So when you go click here, it will say, where do you want to place the note? I'm saying here as per the location and I can check. So I've got it right. Then how about the second note? So I go here, I can just duplicate, right click and duplicate. I come here and the second note is position here and again I can reset run the program so this is fine then I again duplicate I put it here and I have to place it here so I drop it down and I say this note is here and let me do it one more time duplicate position the note check the last note which is here so I'm saying this note is here 
Now I can check whether I have written the right program or not. Yeah. So that was the right program. This is the JavaScript. It introduces you to the idea of functions. Again, you don't have to bother about the script right now. You just say OK. So again, if you go to advanced levels like 9 and 10, you will get really complicated stuff and you will learn a lot about the concept of functions. And there are more levels here, pond tutor and pond. These are advanced concepts and pond tutor introduces you to text based programming. And final game is an open ended contest. So if you want to learn basics of computer science and get introduced to various ideas of programming, which is loops and conditionals, uh, nested loops, equations, functions and so forth. Blockly is a great way of learning computer science and in playing Blockly you will also develop your logical thinking skills and also learn a lot of mathematical skills. And logic and maths are two very important concepts if you want to learn programming.